Hey guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight, and today we're going to be looking at latches. Now, there's three different types of latch the Red Power provides, and they all pretty much perform the same function. They just do it in a slightly different way. So, on the left hand side, we here have the RS latch. Now, the RS in RS latch stands for set and reset or reset and set if you do it in the right order uh, and that basically means that one input will set the latch and the other input will reset it so you've got two separate inputs and two separate outputs uh, this is the transparent latch now what the transparent latch does is it allows you to have one input that will turn the latch on and off and another input that will toggle the two outputs. Now this one here is the RS latch, not the RS latch, this is uh, the toggle latch. And the toggle latch as you can see has got a little lever on the top and if I click that without holding the screwdriver you can actually manual manually toggle this latch. You can also toggle it by putting a redstone pulse down either of the sides and I have some demonstrations over there to show as well now the recipes for these uh, they're all using the typical red power uh, logic components so we have the RS latch shown here, two cathodes two anodes, four stone wires and a wafer in the middle the transparent latch we have five cathodes one anode, two wires and a stone wafer and then you have the toggle latch which is two cathodes, a lever in the middle two wires either side and four stone wafers so as you can see they're probably uh, the, the toggle latch here would be the most basic one that would be slightly more advanced and that would be the, the most advanced latch uh, although these two kind of do things completely differently. Now if we show you here the RS latch as you can see you can hit the inputs so this will be set and reset the latch set it, reset it basically works like that. Now if you shift right click with the screwdriver what you do is you actually uh, flip this latch completely so now that's the, the reset and this is set now if you shift right click again what will happen is it will go into this position and only the output is lit whereas before the input was lit as well so when we toggle it the input turns off whereas before the input stayed on and again if you shift right click that that will uh, flip it around again so now this is the reset and then you shift right click yet again and you go back to normal and as you can see on this mode the input stays on so your input can also be an output there you go that's that's the RS latch now the transparent latch over here is a little different it won't actually work at all until the input is on as long as that input is on you can toggle the two outputs this is an output in this case this is an output and this is the toggle so as long as you're holding a redstone signal there you're outputting on your two output lines. Now if you shift right click that basically reverses and this becomes an input and that one over there becomes an output and remember this is an on off switch toggling or turning on and off whether that latch is actually going to function as a latch. If that's off it doesn't work at all. Now the toggle latch um, basically you can send a pulse down either input and it's going to switch over and as you can see 
the uh, the little lever on the on the block moves as well, and it will work with either input, and it will just switch between the two. So there you go, guys. And this one doesn't have a shift right click. There's nothing uh, more advanced than that, but it is quite useful in that you can manually switch it. So there are the latches. Um, I hope that's uh, opened your eyes to some of the, the things you can do with these logic gates. And please let me know if I've missed something, if I said something wrong, or I need to add additional stuff. Let me know what blocks you'd like me to look at in the future. And hit me up on my Twitter and on my Twitch page. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.